Jesus, man. Brand new house. Brand new everything. We still gotta get everything moved in here. We got some shit on the way. And I got another project car on the way. But anyway, it's gonna be like the first video. I should have did this earlier, but I wasn't paying attention. Or like thinking. You know, my Z shit. Spare wheels. Pop them bitches. Y'all see that in a previous video. I'll put a link like somewhere around that whole uh, stop sign. Got them shits uh, off eBay. And it's called eBay. Z. I'm gonna put the bumpers back on. I'm gonna get quick releases. Pop them on there. But household pressure. Uh, I got my old motor for the Z going to be on the way. Not now. Because it wouldn't fit. It wouldn't fit on a trailer. Along with everything else. Because my dad has his fuel tank for his truck and his fucking the wash machine and dryer on the back and then my mustang which is gonna go here where his truck is but i gotta finish with this truck before they get here in like two hours hopefully i can finish with it but yeah anyway here's the motion we're trying to get back here to this other screw i already popped one off which is right there but trying to get back here to this other screw on this distributor because Random misfire. Don't know why it's misfiring, but it's misfiring. The spark plugs are new, wires are new. I already checked the recheck the fire in order. That's good. This truck's gonna need a lot of fucking maintenance. Let me say that. Because I was loaning it basically, just loaning it to family members and shit. And my uncle was driving it around a lot. And it recently came down here like a month or two, a month and a half ago. And I really didn't even get to see it because I loaned it to my cousin. Who moved down here and she's getting a car she's getting her car next week but the truck had a lot of issues i wasn't able to really go through because we was at an apartment so i wasn't really able to go through it like i wanted to but check the oil oil is black as night and it's low as fuck so that's something that's gonna get taken care of it has a shifting issue which is shift, shift solenoid b i'll show you the inside of this truck it is fucked it is fucked it's, it was a hunting truck, so let me say that it was a hunting work slash hunt work hunting slash work truck. So it was gonna get beat. We got it with the dash beat already. So don't worry about that. Cluster's new, so the mileage is off. Uh, this shit dry rotted, cracked away. So you know Chevy shit. So that's gonna get taken care of. This truck's basically gonna get a whole new remodel. We're gonna probably tear up all the carpet in it and do a complete overhaul. It has sand in it, bro. Like sand. That's how you know it was work truck. It was worked. It was worked. Four by four broke. Got an axle at the front. Snapped in half. So even if we did get even if I did get the four by four working. Like if I even did get the four by four working. It'd be a four by three. Alright, three by four by three. What the fuck? No, you know what I mean. So the fuck up. And it's just I gotta clean this out because it's oily all in there. So I'm gonna have to clean that out. I'll probably go to like a, 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 a like wash bay, car wash or something like that. Spray all this out. But anyway, I digress. Oh shit. Yeah, we're gonna fix all this. It was a pretty beat truck. I wanna say, like cosmetic wise, is not bad. I'm gonna be honest. Outside, not bad. Most on the outside it has is there's no really no really paint issues, nothing like that. You don't see no really any rust spots unless you get under that bitch. But you don't really see any rust spots in it, nothing like that. Like everything's fucking mint on this truck besides the motor, how the motor's running, so that's what we're gonna try to work on today before the sun goes down. And then hopefully we'll go to pull apart, get a dash, you know, get the interior work done, take care of this, all this extra shit. But eventually, at some point, I'm thinking about 5-3 swapping this. I don't know, but we'll I'll probably get there. Don't worry about that in the ground. That's a candle. My brother lit it to see which way the wind was blowing. Like, come on now. Let's, let's get to it, boy. Where I put that? Let's go. If I can lift up. There we go. Fuck, we cannot. Like, who designed this, bro? I'm to get my hand back there. I feel like it's an easier way to do it, but I don't wanna see. I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a little screw down there. And that's gonna be hard to get to. And the engine's still a little hot. Most of I had to pull it over here. But I did let it cool for a little bit. Let me see. Let me pull the wires out first. Because I redid them because I was checking. But I cleared codes. 
and I'm going to check the distributor to see what the distributor looks like. Because if the distributor, I'm really just praying it's the distributor. It's my issue because the fire order was right. I checked it. Fire order was correct because these are new, basically new. A lot of stuff, new injectors, everything, rail. You know, like a lot of stuff is pretty fucking peachy. Like decently new, but I feel like with that misfire, I'm gonna have to replace the spark plug. That's gonna be for sure. I'm gonna replace those. There's gonna be cheap S10 shit. These are gonna be cheap Chevy shit, man. But let's see if we can possibly reach over to get this one out of there. I think the floor is deep in there. It's like right there. And it's gonna be hard to like fucking. I kinda got myself. I'm glad this is. I'm not gonna be monetized anyway. I'm gonna have to bleep a lot. It's a long screw too, let me say that. Putting it back in, bro. It's gonna be scary not trying try not to drop it. Try not to drop that screw. I will say that. I don't know how much this you guys can see because you are on my head. Man, I'm still not even all the way off. Oh, that's it, that's it. That's it right there. Looking in there, it doesn't look bad, honestly. Let's try and get that off. Next, nothing here it looks looks out of the ordinary, really. So let's go down here and see if we can pop this completely off. Stupid ass design, but it's hard to get any like room down there. You know, any type of fucking anything in there, man. I mean, let's see. All right, let's get this bitch off. Come on, do I have the space? Chevy, give it to me. Give it. This all I need, Chevy. Go. I think I, I think I loosened it. I did. I could probably handle it now. I can. All right, let me see if I can get the other side. Right, if there is other side. See, I'm not feeling it. No, is that it? No. I'm not really seeing shit. I don't know if you guys can see down there because I'm probably, you're probably getting blocked by whatever this is. But I don't know. I'm trying. Honestly, I think it's just this. It looks like there's one bolt down here. Fuck, that's hot. This is more of a learning experience for me, too, because I haven't worked on this truck in years, I want to say, because. Every time I'll do that, like work or something like that. But I, I helped put the motor in, me and my dad, when I was like fucking 16. Yeah, like I was like 16, 17, I'm 22 now. So that really tells you how long it's been since I've really been able to work on this truck. Cause I haven't been driving it. It's usually just loaned off to somebody else, like a family member or it's sat until, or just sits until fucking hunting season. So it really didn't need maintenance, but when you start loaning your stuff out to people and they don't really take care of your stuff, you know? Like, this, if this was a Z all day, bro, I can figure that shit out. But this truck here, I haven't really worked on it in a minute. So, it's gonna be really, it's gonna be learning, dog. Ouch. It is hot. Got pop sensor. There you go. Wish I had something like to tie it up with. Should put my damn glove on. There you go. There you go. Ah, that is so hot. That is so hot. That is so hot. Oh, fuck. That is so hot, bro. But I'm gonna edit. It doesn't look bad and rotations, man. Rotations. Looks good. So I looked into it and if it had like 
I want to say it would basically like look like lightning was coming on top of it, you know what I'm saying, pause, but it feels like, like lightning was like, like marks everywhere, like lightning strikes, that is more than likely bad, but it honestly looks good, to be honest, it honestly looks good, so, this gasket though, I'm saying it looks dirty for this to for that to be in the seal it's pretty dirty. It's oily too. It's gonna be, be some oil man. But what I'm going to do is check to make sure that sensor is giving off 12. Ooh, this is gonna be fun to ground. Ah, shit, there we go. I can probably stick her in there. There we go. All right. Let's see if we can get up there. I need to move this out the way, you know, on two, where's my rag? I'll just get it out the way somewhere. I can't really fuck it up on accident, you know? And I don't wanna just drip oil and everything. I'm not really worried about this rag at all. In any shape, form, or fashion, I'm not worried about that rag. I use it for the same that shit all the time. There you go. Fuck. I almost got oil on my knee. Let's see, so one, I should barely be getting voltage from. I want to say at least two should be giving me 12. That's 10. You can't see it, but. That's gonna be my signal. Nope. Nope. 0.85, 0.84, like, and that was giving me 10. Huh. Yeah, that should do it. Cause I believe anything lesser than 10, it wouldn't work properly. Like 10. 11, that was a high 10 too. So it was, I want to say borderline 11. It was like right there at 11. It, give, it was like right there to give me a solid 11. And another thing I wanted to check out because I noticed this earlier was this soldered as in line. I don't know what this is for, but I want to say it's ignition. And I really want to say that's the soldered in ignition wire. Not even soldered in. What is it? Wait, where's that running? Is that a knock sensor? I want to say it's a knock sensor. I'll look into it, but I want to say it's a knock sensor. Because it's back in the motor type shit. I want to say it's a knock sensor. Maybe an oil pressure sensor. Nah, <laughs> no, that wouldn't make sense, would it? Oil pressure sensor would be down below. So I want to say it's probably a knock. I saw something. The mosquitoes or something is just fucking biting my leg. Scratch the fuck out of them. But like that's you look right here. There it is. Taped up ass shit. Look at that. Look at that there. Look at that. Look at that shit right there. Look how amazing that is. Now what I want to check is how much how much power is it getting after it's in. You know what I'm saying? So it running. To, I want to say this is a knock sensor. I want to say it's a knock sensor. Could possibly not be a knock sensor. There we go, pop her out. I want to say it could probably not be a knock sensor. Scrag a little bugger. But, huh, it's gonna be a cam sensor actually. Look at that plug. It could be a cam. Very well. Goddamn mosquito. Motherfucker felt raggedy, man. It felt like a. This felt thick. That mosquito felt thick on my leg. I think I missed it. Where am I ass out? Oh, that little knot there. Fucking bit me there. Little bugger. <laughs> little bastard bitch. What are you, Ryan? Top. I can't hear it. Yeah, I see the palm. There we're getting. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Look at that again. 8.6. 8.6 even with it like like the engine turned off 
This is a solid connection too. This is a solid connection. And we're getting 8.6. So that is that is strength. Strength. Because, oh, I thought that was my phone I knocked over. <laughs> Shoot. Right, let's check before I'm going to pull it off. Because I'm going to redo it. Oh, I can't get it off. I mean, it's just tied. So 8.6. I'm not even sure if I'm on the right one, to be honest. Pull up. Ooh. Multi. I'm going to... I feel like I'm going to cut myself doing this. But fuck it, dog. I'm trying to figure out which side is which. I want to just pull it. Because if I can just... Ah, there it is. Right there. I'm going to drop that. I'll redo it in a second. Put the whole thing on. Fuck. I should still be able to prong into it. I should still be able to prong into it. Like so. Yeah, go back. Right. It's hard to do. I'm, I'm not even really touching it. Like, I'm barely touching it. It's not even gonna give, give me a good reading. I mean, maybe that's the right voltage for a cam sensor on this truck, maybe. I know when I was doing a Chevy Cruze, I believe I was getting 12 checking them. Let me, let me think. I think I was getting like, basically the same thing, like a point five, a point five, and then I was getting 12. And that's on a 2011 Chevy Cruze LT. LT. Where did I put him? Where did I put him? They are in that box in the house. Let me go grab them. Should be in here. Don't worry about that. No, do I? Get in here. You too. Don't worry about all that. It's gonna look like that for now until so I finish sorting everything in that drawer. I really just be moving, so I just started throwing shit in. If it's my small shit, but I have nothing to fit it in. I was really just throwing it in. All right, but let's get this shit off of here. Cause you can see where they made another connection right there. And they heat shrunk it. Hey, look how bad that was. It was janky as hell. I'll probably end up cutting that end off. Right there. Right. I'm really just trying to trying to keep as much wire as possible. And just pull off the, sh the uh, wire that got broke off from the other one. Something like that. Dab me, please. Take it like that. There we go. And then we can take one of these boys. Once you're gonna have to go to the car, which is fucking disgusting right now, because again, I was moving a lot of shit around. So it's gonna be a little wonky now, a little jink jink. I like to do it. The way I like to do it is I'll push it through a little bit, not too much. Because it still has to get a solid connection when you push it into the, the female end. I want to push the inside in some. Because my experience with these, these are cheap. My experience with these, they don't they don't secure them right. I have a wire, a couple wires that you push that bitch on, it was not securing it right. And I did not like that at all. That's why I like preferred my needle noses in there or I have some smaller channel locks or pliers. Channel locks. Some smaller pliers that allow me to really get what I want it. See? Trunk is a little wonky. Like look at this, look at this. I never used this fire extinguisher. It went off in my trunk. 
it went off in here. In the mount, on that piece of wood, it broke. I was gonna mount it because of that reason. I think this is one of the wires here. Yeah, it's in a little wonky. Cause this was you know, a wonky in there. This was one of my ignition wires, right? Cause I had to redo my ignition wire. Cause I had a watt box. And my watt box fried. See all my fucking everything just broke because of my jack. I had a jack in here. This jack or jack I have in here. It basically went over. When I went to a meet, basically rolled over and cracked the case and all these bitches everywhere in my trunk right now. Not me cutting it, this is me testing. Mm, that might be too much. 16, maybe 16, maybe 16, 18. I want to say either one of those before. If I can even fish it in there, dog, that's gonna be the real question. I honestly might have to take my needles and wiggle it. But I never really have too much success with these. I mean, I have success with them, but I usually push down too hard, end up cutting it. I hate that. Turn it upside down so you can get a little, get a little better look in there. How much do we need right here? Got it. Looks like, yep. We got it. That should be enough. It should be more than enough. Because for these, okay. Little teeth. Which one is smaller? Which one's smaller? So take it like so. Because we didn't need to pull off too much. Honestly, on these, you can cut a little slit in it and then put that on there, but it's such a small spot that I was thinking to myself, I was like, nah, fuck that. It's gonna be hard to maneuver. Can't get both my hands in there. Go sandwich it, just something like this. I don't know if I can see this, get it, nope. Again, I was like borderline in it. I'm dead ass borderline. I might cut a little bit more out. There's my snap. All right. Let me take this in. Push me just like this. Uh, so fuck it, it popped off again. I don't have smaller connections. I don't think I do. Let me actually check my bag I had them at before I moved I had smaller ones but I don't remember what I did with them and if I did anything with them there would be in, probably in my drawer back in the room honestly hold up let me think about this if I take I'm gonna have to rig this Soccer now. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. There we go. All right. So basically, my plan here is I'm gonna take this prong and lay it. I don't know what size I gave them. I gave them the biggest ones and I think we got the smaller ones. I'm gonna take these right here. So I'm gonna see if I can press just a little bit. Hopefully. Can't get enough meat. Let me see needles. Let's see if I can just get a little meat. Yeah, there we go. So we made it smaller. Decently smaller gap. So take it. Layer back in there. Like so it's a gap smaller. And it's a small wire. If I push hard enough, the wire should just collapse in there. We should just eat it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 
uh, where you are right there. Should be able to take it and then just make it eat it. But if not, I'll probably have to keep come out a little bit more. Let's see here. Where's it? There's a crunch right there, boys. We're, we're cooking. We're cooking. Where I put the wire. Right here. There you go. And that's really good and solid in there. So, now we just made them. Like so. Come on. Go in there. That's the sucky part because you got the force. And I don't have much of an angle to force. Put that out there. There we go. There she is. Take it. Push it back over here. Just as soon. Right there. She goes. He wiggled a little bit. It had me scared. But there we go. She's in. Wires we did. Actually, while I'm at it, let me undo it one more again. Wrong wire. I'm gonna grab the wrong shit. Ouch. Here she goes. Pop her out. And what I want to check is, I just want to check to make sure we're the same volt as before. If you're not using volt meter, that bitch is 20. And you think over 12. Turn your key forward. Just to the on position, not to the start position. Put the ground on the ground. Simple. Take whatever you're testing. And we're still getting eight. So eight, we're getting 8.56. 8.56, so that's basically what we're getting before. That's the same we're getting before, but this time around it's not janky and electrical taped. We actually have something that will hold, because I will show you guys the oil, and it is not it. I'm gonna have to do a leak down, but bro, oh my gosh. You wanna see what a spark the wire is running on this truck? Down there, on the side, but like this. It's kaboom. So I might be able to just get around it. Look at that start wire. Just look at that. Just look at it. It looks like it's getting eaten. Like, if you look at it, to signify it's bad, like I said earlier, it should have something that looks like lightning strikes coming on the surface of it. But it doesn't, but that doesn't mean anything really. So we still can really end up replacing it. We can check spark plugs. Which will probably be a tomorrow adventure. Tomorrow morning adventure. But it's gonna have to happen. We may have to get a wall chain on here. Let me show you guys this. Look at this. I haven't showed you boys this yet. Look at this here. Look at that. Fucking mint. Fucking man. So basically, I'm gonna boil this. I'm gonna boil this radiator cap probably. Probably not. Probably just fucking spray it off. But I really just want a lot of that gunk off. And I feel like boiling it'll get a lot more off. And then if you look down in here, there's no water. Because nobody added any. Or coolant in general. At all. Because nobody added any. So we're gonna have to get that take care of. Cap for this reservoir. I used to have a cap on it, really. And if I'm remembering properly, and I think I am, because my head is huge. Fuck, I don't think I have the right size. I don't think I have the right size. One of these jugs. One of the Dex Mark. Dex Mark. Mission fluid cap. It looks like it's about to. Yeah, see? It's sturdy. So, that's probably what I'll do. When I end up replacing 
couple things. I gotta figure out where the fuck did I put my brake fluid when I moved out. That might be it right there, honestly. I don't think that was empty. It might be in my basket somewhere. I think it's in my white basket. Yeah, I think it's in my white basket. But I'm gonna end up cleaning this truck out back inside because it was a hunting truck, so it had a lot of corn in it. Kept a lot of corn in it, wheat. We had sandbags at one point. I can't remember we had sandbags for it, but we were hauling sandbags. That's how I got so much sand in there. Get it real nice and clean. Is that cool in it? Nope. Get it real nice and cleaned out. We do everything interior wise, new seats. There's a spring popped out on this seat. You feel it right here. New headlights, because the headlights, you might as well be driving with your headlights off. I did it before. It's this fucking same thing. This kills. It's the same thing. Dead ass. Yeah, this will probably be a oil change soon. I have oil. That oil is supposed to go on my Z, but it's getting cold because I originally got that oil for when I switched. I was going to switch to 10W30 from 5W30 because it was so hot. I was burning a quarter of oil a week. That's not good. Even like, Fucking see it, yeah, they burn oil away. It was so fucking hot down here in Louisiana, bro. And I was just burning oil. The goddamn, I had to replace the damn oil pressure sensor because I'm getting low oil readings and the oil is not low. Even though it burns oil pretty quick, it is not, it is not low when I check. I'll have a full thing of oil and then a reload and I know what it is because that's the same same sensor off my old motor because that's my second motor on that z goddamn mosquitoes that's my second motor on the z so i was having the same issue with oil pressure on the last motor so that tells me it's just the sensor we gonna leave these there goes right there they go there Take my shit. I need to set this here. Because I'm not going to close the hood all the way. And then we got to bring my Mustang. I'll probably just had a Mustang there and then push it over here eventually. Just pull it over here with the truck. You know what I'm saying, G? Right. Yeah, we're going to have the Z content on the way. The issue today is my Mustang is coming. So. We're gonna have Mustang videos. Let me work on the Mustang. It needs a transmission, that's it. And I gotta put a radio in it, that's it. That's really it.